Hi, one of our videos. I'm Peter Loshek. Today's Friday, February 5th. City. next to me is uh, Mike Brenner. This is our daily NBA show. We got a big card tonight. Mike First Brenner. and foremost, thanks for the bounce back last night. Oh, yeah. Good job. You know, and you hit it comfortably. Two picks in one game, and you nailed it both. And it's just I told like, you were overdue. Oh, it's just like, it's just such a relief to not have to come here and be like, oh my God, 12 and 6. It's just like, you know. <laughs> Just such a no, so work. embarrassing to have public losses. But anyway, Keep Mike Brenner, going, baby. yeah, big card here. You of course kicking ass overall, and uh, you've already been. You started looking at this card on Thursday, so yeah. you have how many picks do you have? I one, got two, three, three picks. Three, holy crap! And I'm All not, right. Again, I'm not pushing it because yep. I'm coming off of one loss. It's just I see value tonight, and I want to jump on that value. So. Well, this is going to be a, a long show, and uh, I guess let's start with the Boston Cleveland game. Maybe this yeah. is one of the games that uh, that you uh, have a pick on. This is one of the games that I bet on the overnights. We'll see what you have. To to say about it of course uh you know boss of you know scrappy team yeah. un tend to be undervalued tend to be a good bet cleveland doing well under the new coach new system but they did falter in the second half last yeah. game now i was leaning uh to the over on this one i took it at 210 you know is cleveland going to but they have been having second half troubles yes they so have. i'm wondering if they're going to like slow the pace down in the first half or something i bet the first half over it's curiously low i think it was 102 wow, that's one that of the picks low. i'm considering mm -hmm. uh i took the over 210 and small. I took the first half over 102 a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Thinking about giving the first half over, I'm not exactly sure. It's six and a half or seven. Mike Brenner, what do you think about this game? And is this one of well, your plays? Well, Boston runs a whole lot more than they used to. Yes. And that's because of yes. Brad Stevens, right. bottom line. He has implemented an offense that they're not used to having. And I like it. This team is scrappy. Perfect word for them. Yes. Uh, Jay Crowder, Ja Crowder, however you pronounce it, Jay Crowder, he's playing tonight as, as well. He's a little banged up. But I like Cleveland. I have them involved in several mm -hmm. of my picks, and I'm just going to really? tell you what. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, because I was that—that that was another uh, pick and small bet that I made. Okay. I took Boston a plus seven just okay. because, and not that I'm not a believer in Cleveland, but when you're given one of these scrappy teams that's generally undervalued that fights mm -hmm. a good amount of points. I yeah. don't know. Seven's a lot of points to give to a it team is. like like It Boston. is, and that's why I'm not touching the game, but mm -hmm. I'm touching the half. Really? Like, yeah, of course. I, I literally <laughs> read an article that said things weren't happy. After that game last time when they had that collapse in the right, second right, right, half, right, right. they're worried about their third quarter. Yes. That might be a very good yes. bet, by the way, the third right. quarter. Okay, Mike Brenner, yeah. let's hear your picks on this but, Cleveland game. Okay, well, I'm going with Cleveland on the half. I grabbed it at minus three and a half. They're going to come out again and run and gun. I think they mm -hmm. got comfortable at halftime mm -hmm. last game, and uh, they're, they're going to come out and put it to Boston. And at times, Boston gets a little lax defensively, and I mm -hmm. think they might catch him on that end. Staying away from the game, but I locked in the Cavs on the half, minus three and a half. That's going to be my bounce back game for my first half. Okay, I can't say that I disagree with because, of course, Cleveland has. My only concern is that maybe they're like, because they're looking to play like more intensely over the full game, maybe they'll ease up a little maybe. bit in the first half. That's good, maybe a good call, but I think because they're coming off that loss, an unexpected loss that they shouldn't have right. lost, I think they're going to come out hungry, plus they're at home. I think they're going to put it on them early. So. And you know what I'll do? I'll give first half over 102. I like that. I'm not exact. It, it definitely concerns me, though, that it's not. Why is it so low? Well, because I, I got a feeling Boston might be a little bit uh, short on the offensive end tonight. That's what I'm thinking. I think defensive wise, I think Cleveland's going to lock down. That could be. Mm -hmm. But if you're feeling it, go with it. You're on a little roll well, maybe here. Now, I, I was feeling it up until a few seconds ago. Now I'm not <laughs> sure what I think. Uh, all right, what the hell? I'll give it. I'll give it. Over okay. 102. And uh, we'll check uh, also after the show if there's a 101 and a half, which I doubt. Yeah, Cleveland might is. blow up in the first two quarters and, you know, help support that quite a bit. So I think I mean, good. we know that in general Cleveland wants to run. Mm -hmm. We know that in general Boston's good offensive. Why do you think offensive Boston's going to be shorter offensively? I just think uh, Cleveland's going to concentrate on defense more than so? happen. Yes, I Why do. do you believe that? Well, because that last game, second half, they were just getting pummeled last left and right and everything they tried because they, they made two different lineup changes mm -hmm. in the second half. Nothing worked. So I know they had to focus on practice on but defense. But did you read anything specifically saying that? Not even, nope, but I did hear right. that they want to come out and they want to make up for that second half collapse that I did read. So I like that. All right. Does that oh, mean yeah. defense or offense? I'll take the I'll take the first half over Go one or two. It. it might sneak over anyway. All right. Interesting game. Interesting analysis here. What we else have, are you looking at? Uh, the other one I'm looking at, it's an interesting situation. Chicago at Denver. Right now, Ooh. Denver, this is interesting for a few reasons. First of all, Denver has been flat out awesome yeah. ATS. Yes. They've been even better than you ATS recently. I mean, they have, they've covered everything except for one. I don't know what their exact record is, but they've been killing it. Chicago, we talk about it every show. Head case team, yes. right? Jimmy Butler is a... Uh, is yeah, well, I was going to ask you, what's he, is he going to play I'm tonight? seeing that his status is questionable. I suspect he might play, but Etwan Moore. You know, yeah. Etwan Moore. He replaced him last game, played well. 
in that in that game, but can he come back and do it uh, at Denver? Chicago generally doesn't do well yeah, against Denver. He put up Denver. 24 career high for him. Each one, each one more. He yeah. got it done. But Chicago generally doesn't do well at Denver, and this is a, a particularly mile high, good. That altitude right. makes a difference. And this is a particularly good version ATS of Denver right now. Denver's it's it's, clicking, it's an incredibly low line, though one and a half or two. That makes me think Oof. that Jimmy Butler is in, maybe yeah. Gasol as well. This one also I took on the first half over 101 and a half. Also curiously low. Mm. We know that Denver. You you know, they had a, a bad game last game with very low scoring. Yeah. They do better when they're running, when they're playing well. Chicago uh, started to play a little bit slower pace recently, but then in their last game they picked out of it. We know that's in general what they want to do. I like the first half over on this one, 101 and a half, although I am concerned about the fact that it's so low. Yeah, that is low. I don't know. I again, I don't have a feel for that, and that's that's your specialty. But if you you're have feeling anything to it, say about going, this game, uh, no, no, I don't. Ex Nothing except for last I heard. All right, last mm -hmm. I heard, Jimmy Butler was pr uh, probable at best. Probable so, at best. At best, right? Now, I mean, it's yeah. a it's a tantalizingly low line, Mike Brenner. I, I could I could have one. It's it's minus one at Denver. Denver right might now. Denver might just go out and get that win on for everything on the side. They might just cover this thing and beat them bad. Who yeah. Knows? All right. You know, you know what? I'll give the but first half. I'm not over trying to sway away. you though. No. Don't start that shit again. First half. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm not going to start that shit again here. First half over 101 and a half again. I'll take it. Denver. You know they easily. That's not a high total. It concerns yeah. me what the number is, but I'll take Gallinari, it. Gallinari. He's firing on all cylinders. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. All right, Mike Brenner. We have one play from you so far. You say you got three today. Give us a second. No. No. Play. I got two. I, oh, I, got I, two. I, yeah. I was thinking on a third, but as we were talking, I canceled out one of them. But Really? What's the one you canceled? Yeah, and, uh, it, yeah I was going to go with an under. On, I was going to go with an under on the Cavaliers, and then you the started talking, really? and I started thinking, yeah. I've only done one total, and it covered, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to push that. And so. you were going on the full game under on that Full one. game, yeah. Well, you might, listen, it's, uh, you know. I know, but I'm not even going to, I'm just, something told me stop, so I just stopped. I felt it in my gut. But. It is a curiously, it's a curious total, 210, and yeah. right now it's 210. Heritage is hanging 210 and a half. Yeah. I'm definitely leaning up over on that one. All right, so a lot of interesting games. Let's see, what else can we discuss here? What else can we discuss here? Oh, Miami and Charlotte. That's an interesting yeah. game. White side back. Kemba Walker, questionable. I heard, Charlotte, he's, I heard he's a go. He's a go. That's okay. What I heard. Charlotte got, and that would explain the uh, the line move right now. It was yep. uh, there. It was plus one overnight. Now it's minus three and a half. Charlotte off that big win now. Yeah, nice cover against Cleveland. Do they let down here yes. or continue? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I'm staying off it. They might be flat. And again, I haven't had a um, an update on mm -hmm. Miami status. So right. I'm very 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 tempted to take the under at uh, 194 or 194 and a half, but uh, I think I'm going to pass on it for here. But I'm probably going to bet that. Let's get your second pick. Okay, Mike, my right? second pick is a teaser. I'm six and two mm -hmm. on the teaser, so I like this one tonight. Sacramento Kings. All right, they're in a funk. They need a big win. It's minus five and a half. They're at Brooklyn. After the adjustment, it'll be minus one and a half. So that's the first team on the two team teaser. Mm -hmm. Sacramento Kings. My second one. I'm going with Cleveland because it's going to take it from six and a half to two and a half. They need this win. All right, they're going to get this win. I really feel comfortable there. I don't think they're going to blow Boston out. All right, wouldn't surprise me if they get a double digit win. Mm -hmm. But two and a half, I think, is comfortable. It's confident. So Cavaliers minus two and a half. Sacramento minus one and a half. That's after the adjustment. That's my two team teaser, and I want to knock them both down tonight. All right. Yeah, I kind of like that. Brooklyn very thin. They just yeah. don't really feel like they have the bench to it with a team with some spunk to them. Some and now they got Joe Johnson and trade rumors. So they're, you know, you got players wondering where am I going to be? And, you know, that takes everything away from cohesiveness with the team. So. All right. And then let's talk about just one other game, an interesting game, uh, Spurs and Dallas, yeah. right? The Spurs. Duncan's two out. He'll miss his eighth. Um, Ginobili's out. Parker's questionable. And Spurs are two and four against the spread over their last yeah. six games, but still 32 and 17 against the spread on the year, which is awesome. Right now the line is six or six and a half. Dallas in general, a sluggish team, couldn't even beat Miami, although Miami did have white side back. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's tempting to, to, to take a shot with, with Spurs here at minus six. I think it's probably going to cover, and I almost did. I almost mm -hmm. leaned to doing it because you know right now Popovich is scratching his head, and this bench that everyone talks about, which deservedly so, mm -hmm. they're going to need to step up tonight because you got a guys out, you know, a couple guys out. I like it. They need this game mm -hmm. as far as mentally. So, you know, I almost I almost pulled the trigger on that. Well, one. at Bet365 right now, it's minus six. The rest of the market is six and a half or seven. What so, are you uh, thinking on it? I'm th oh, God, I'm leaning towards the Spurs, but I guess I don't quite like it enough to, uh, to give it here as a pick, although that's probably really stupid. You've got two picks, right? I've got two picks, two first okay. half overs. You got your two picks. I guess we'll wrap it up. An interesting card tonight. A lot of interesting situation. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this total in the Cavs game and whether uh, you know they, they get a comfortable win over the Celtics or whether the scrappy Celtics come back and get another cover at plus I seven. Like I'm leaning game. towards the Celtics full game, but uh, okay. we will see 
how it turns out. And let's, we're going to be uh, meeting up here for Super Bowl Sunday, right? That's right. All right. We're on going to Sunday. do a show on Sunday. So Live show. We are temp yeah. it's, it's temp Go Broncos, baby. tentatively planned. All right. Thanks so much, Mike Brenner. Have a great day, Pete.